For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, and that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And from Proverbs chapter 1, Turn you at my reproof. Windy. Behold, I will pour out my spirit upon you. I will make known my words unto you. Because I have called and ye refuse. I have stretched out my hand and no man has regarded it. Again, Proverbs chapter 1. Is a chapter in the Bible about street preaching, about wisdom, about salvation of God through Jesus Christ, our Lord. And many, many a time we've come here and preached the gospel. Some of you already know John 3.16 just by repetition. Many of you know already what the preaching is that Jesus Christ saved. You know already, most of you here, that you've heard against religion. And you may think I'm rude, you may think I'm crude, but religion cannot save you. And you hear that only Jesus Christ saves. You also hear that Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Usually between your 30 to 45 minute Saturday church service, you hear about the saving grace of Jesus Christ. And from the King James Bible that I preach from, you have heard heaven, you have heard hell, you have heard life, and you have heard death. You have heard about Jesus. You have heard about God the Father. You have heard about Satan. You've heard about works and you've heard the gospel that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and rose again the third day according to the scriptures. And the Bible has spoken about scorners out of Proverbs chapter 1. I have spoken out of Proverbs chapter 1 to say there are people like you in Proverbs 1 that have heard the gospel that Jesus Christ saved and only Jesus Christ saved. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. There is no other salvation. There is no religion. There is nothing approved of God but the precious blood of Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. Week after week after week, we come to you with the saving grace. We come to you with the invitation of a reservation that you can have your name in the Lamb's Book of Life. The only entrance, the only reservation that would be made for you to go to heaven. You're not going to heaven by your religion. You're not going to heaven by how good you are. You're not going to heaven by good intentions. You will go to heaven only by Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. In Proverbs chapter 1, bear with me as the wind blows the pages. Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. That's exactly what I've done to you week after week after week. In order for you to get to God the Father, you got to come to God the Son. In order for you to die and go into heaven, you must believe on the Lord Jesus Christ before you die. You are born to die... And there are reservations for you. Heaven by Jesus Christ. Hell by anything but Jesus. And without anything, you can go to hell. That's been taught week after week after week. And we have brought the word to you. We have brought the words of God to you. We have brought the words of Jesus Christ to tell you that you cannot get to God by anything but Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. Those words are preached week after week after week. 
and you are here week after week after week. You are making money off of something that God has blessed us with fruits and vegetables without thanking God, rejecting God, scorning God. And yet God, in His long suffering, not willing that any should perish, God has given me another week to stand here and preach this same Jesus. A Jesus that doesn't change. The biblical Jesus. The Son of God. Who is God? Who is the Son of God? And the Son of Man. Suffered and died that you may have life. Who bore our iniquities. Who bore our sorrows. Who took on our sin. Who had a battle with the devil upon Calvary's cross. And came out of the grave alive and well. And is seated at the right hand of the Father today. That Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, is able and will take away your sin. And only Jesus Christ can take away your sin. Because I have called and ye refuse. I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded it. There are many of you here at the farmer's market, you have heard you have listened, and you have hated the Word of God being preached. And yet, you have heard the very words of God. You have heard the invitation of God. There is no excuse for you any longer. If you are sickened by my voice with Jesus, if you are hatred of my voice of the Bible, it is you who I'm speaking to today. I am speaking to you today not to hate the Word of God, but to come to Jesus by the love of God that He sent His only begotten Son. That this is your only hope. The money you make can't save you. The good intentions you have can't save you. Only the blood of Jesus Christ is able to save you. And the Word of God has reached out week after week after week. I have stretched out the word. I have stretched out Jesus Christ. And you not adhered. And if you were to die right now in your sins, you would wake up in a place called hell forever. And in hell you would have wished, according to Luke 16, you would have wished that your family would adhere to what we're preaching today, for it's too late for you. Go ahead and mock. Go ahead and ridicule, because Proverbs chapter 1 and throughout the Bible says they will do that. And I know already that through the Scriptures, many of you will not listen. Many will go the broad way that leadeth into destruction. And yet few will go through the straight gate that leadeth to light. There may be just that one few. It may be that two few. Maybe that three few of you in the four years and many how many years the Lord has given us to preach the gospel. is for you. That one. Maybe two. Maybe three. But we know you're all not going to get saved. We know you're all not going to listen to the gospel. And yet the Bible says, go in all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. And the Bible says, because you have, because I have called, and ye refuse. I have told you to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. And many of you, no, nope. shut up, go home. Got my religion. Leave us alone. You're affecting our business. We need something else. Shut up. We don't want to hear that. That's refusing God. That's refusing the Bible. And the pages of the Bible, Proverbs chapter 1, verse 24, says you're going to do that. And if you continue to reject Jesus Christ, God will tell you to go to hell. We stand here and preach that you may not go to hell. Hell is optional by what you do with Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. You can be saved by what Jesus has done and you can be damned and condemned by what you do. Because what you do cannot save you. And what Jesus Christ has done is able to save the vilest, wickedest sinner ever to be. 
forever and ever the God, word of God is settled and forever and forever. If you are named to be put in the last book of life, you can have the reservations into heaven by Jesus Christ alone. And that's what we preach every week. Jesus. 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 And many of you here already are hating the Word of God. You hate Jesus. Now you may say, I hate that preacher. I hate that guy coming every week. That guy is destroying the business. That guy we should go away. And yet the Bible says to the apostle Paul, you have crucified, you have tortured, you have gone against me, Paul. And Paul never tortured Jesus. Paul never crucified Jesus. Paul never put Jesus in jail. And yet he did that to Christians. And what you do to a Christian, God takes personally. And if you were to hate the preacher with the message from the Bible, you hate the words of God. It's not me, it's God. Because the words I speak are from the scriptures, are from the Bible. Very few of these words are mine. And many of the words that are mine are my own personal testimony of being saved. So you can go tell the cops over there. It also says, But ye have set at naught all my counsel, and would none of my reproof. What's that saying? What is verse 25 saying? Proverbs 1.25 It is saying that you don't care. You don't want to hear it. You wish it shut up. We don't want to hear that preaching. We don't want to hear that Bible. And we're not going to do what you tell us to do. Proverbs 125. You see, the very fact of your attitudes are in the pages of the Bible. Your reactions are recorded by the Holy Spirit of how you would ever laugh. However you would hate. However you would curse. And yet the Word of God is preached. And it's despised and rejected as Jesus. And you think you're going well. You think that I do not need that Jesus, that preacher preaches. I do not need to listen to that preacher preach salvation by Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. I don't need that. So what does God say? Proverbs 1.26 I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. When your fear cometh as desolation, and your destruction comes as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish come upon you. Your rejection of Jesus Christ may bring forth a God that will say, I reject you. You may come into your life of troubles and problems. You may come in your life a life of seriousness as we preach Christ and reject Christ that you do. And you may call upon that God And as you do not hear the gospel today, God says, I may not hear you tomorrow. That is your reaction to Jesus. If you do not want to hear the preacher preach Jesus one day in your troubles, 
Proverbs chapter 1, God may say, I don't want to hear you. Your entire life focuses upon one person, that's the Lord Jesus Christ. Your salvation is set upon Jesus who said, I am the way, the truth, and the light. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. And God does not want a God where people call on Him in trouble only. He wants you to call upon God through Jesus Christ, His Son, for salvation. God is not a bubblegum God where you pop in your 50 cents and you get the color bubblegum you want. That's not how God works. God works salvation through Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. Your works are infidel compared to the works of Jesus. Your means of salvation cannot be met by the means of salvation through Jesus. And if you die without Jesus, with the preaching of Jesus in your life, when you stand before the God of all the earth, the judge of all the earth, the creator, Jesus Christ himself, he will not listen as you have not listened to his words. I believe God at the great white throne judgment will let men speak and plead. But he won't listen. And in Revelation 20, the Bible says the books were open. And every man was judged by their works. And the book of life was open. And if your name is not in the Lamb's book of life, you go off into the lake of fire forever. Because when you've heard Jesus preached, you've heard that Jesus is able to save you. You have read the word of God on signs. What's the Bible say that you have done? But you have set at naught my counsel, and would none of my reproof. Where are you at fault when God casts you off into the lake of fire? You would not listen to the preacher preach the Bible. You would not adhere to the Jesus Christ of the Bible. You would not put your faith and trust in Jesus that is able and will save your soul. Every week when we preach the gospel, we are open an invitation by God through Jesus Christ. I got something for you down there. If you listen to me, it's called the same. The invitation is that you can come out of the world and sin and devil and hell and come to Jesus Christ by the what saving grace. Are you? Uh, what's we go to Deland De Bible Baptist Church. Oh, well, the church. An invitation yeah, for you it. today to have your name written down in the last book of life by Jesus Christ and by His shed blood. It's so nice to hear. Thank you. And have your sins washed in the blood of the Lamb. And only by Jesus Christ can you get to heaven. Now, if you don't want Jesus, and many of you at the farmer's market do not want Jesus, you can go to a place where there's absence of Jesus. In hell, there is no Jesus. There are no preachers. You will not find me in hell preaching. But you won't find watermelon in hell either. You won't find water in hell. You won't find peace in hell. 
you sure won't find love in hell, for God is love. And if God is absent from hell, the God that you hate, you can go to hell, but you're not going to take the gifts of God. And the gifts of God through the Holy Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering. Those would be the things that you would want in hell, but you're not going to get it. You will not have alcohol in hell. Your friends will hate you in hell. And you will hate your friends because there's no love. God is love. For the very reason that Proverbs chapter 1 says and verse number 25, But ye have set at naught all my counsel, and would none of my reproof. You will be tormented in hell, the lake of fire, because you will not listen to the preacher preach the salvation of Jesus Christ, who said, I am the way, the truth, the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. And those words were Jesus. And you would not listen. And when you die and not believe Jesus, you are not without excuse. Because you have been told that Jesus saves. And only Jesus saves. You can never tell God, I never knew. God will say, He told you, and you have set at naught all my counsel. And would none of my reproof, you would not listen to Jesus Christ, the saving grace. Reject Jesus Christ and God that is all love will reject you off into the lake of fire burneth forever. Because you would not receive Jesus Christ as your Savior. Two, if you love Jesus, two, if you love Jesus, sir, thank you. There's a guy that loves Jesus from New York. There he goes. If you reject Jesus Christ, as your means of salvation, God has rejected you. The access to heaven is by the finished work of Jesus Christ. I have given you no other names of salvation but Jesus. Religion is man-made. Jesus Christ is God-approved. Go ye all the world and preach the gospel. And that gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again according to the scriptures three days and three nights. Then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. It's appointed unto man once to die, but after this the judgment. 
Now is the day of salvation. Tomorrow God may shut his ears. You say, well, how can God shut his ears? You can die without Jesus. You don't know when you're going to die. You can get a medical ailment and just lose your mind and incapable of ever trusting Jesus. You can get in an accident and your facilities just beyond comprehension of any more. Or you may get to the chance that God says, hey, you rejected my son enough, I'm rejecting you. Listen, the God of the Bible is not the God that's preached in American pulpits. He's sure not the God of the radio and the TV ministry. God would never reject us. I mean, I, I, when you say that, it's based upon. See, Jesus God said, "God reject us. God would never reject us. I mean, he's, he's always leaves open, open, and open for us to accept and love Him." But, there, but Jesus said, that. "Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. life. Yes, That's sir. the only access to God that God I agree. allows. I, I agree. And if you I do, agree. if you do receive that, then God receives you. Yeah, me, we got to relate. I'm yeah. smoking, but uh, but He hasn't rejected me on even that. God is so awesome. He knows. He knows all that I know. I'm being convicted." For See, one thing right now is we've been here for four years. I, I don't know. And a lot of these people, they just hear it, they hate it. And if they hate yes. Jesus, God hates it. Because that's God's, that's, that's the only thing in the eyes of God is Jesus Christ. I, I can't, God, uh, I, he doesn't, God's long suffering, he doesn't want to. He doesn't John, want to. First John 5, 8, I think. God is love. Yes. Right, okay. God is love. God does not hate us for anything. But look at this. And I can't. I mean, he hates what we do, but well, look he doesn't here. hate us. Yeah, look at Look at three sixteen. For God so loved has That's sent it. the world. Yeah. You see, the love of God is at Calvary. Calvary. If you walk away from Calvary without Jesus, there's no more love. I know that. I mean, you're yeah. doing great. You're yeah. doing great. No, I understand. You got questions over here. I'm from Oklahoma. I went swimming and lost 523 bucks. My whole wallet. I got no idea. I got no way to get home. I don't know what I'm gonna do. But I'm walking through here, and when I heard you speaking, I, I mean, I love God. Yeah, amen. And I was listening to you speak. And, the thing, I, it, it, and it, when you look at these people, you do break. Your heart breaks. But God, God has set the standard, and you, you can't. Change. You know, that's what I'm saying. You're do, you're doing the yeah. right thing because you know what? It's 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 you're gonna. Mess up, mess up, move on right now because it's almost too late. You know we're sitting in the last yes, days. I know you are. Yep. I, I just want to say I love you. Thank you very much. Um, my name is Jim Phillips, and God bless you guys. What's your name, sir? Jim Phillips. Jim Phillips. Yes, sir. And, and yeah, if you got some prayers for me, um, you yep. know, prayer is a, a major thing. And, uh, Add you right to my notebook. Thank you very much. You have a good day. And you carry on. Amen. I Thank know you. you will. Thank you. Uh, I love, I love it. I totally and love it. The thing is, yeah, like they say, I mean, God is love, but you got to realize God is also holy. Yeah. And the only way you can be holy is by Jesus Christ. It's not a work. Right. The Bible says there is none that do with good. Jesus is good. There is no righteousness. Jesus is right. When God looks at man, it's either Jesus or it's nothing. Nothing. Yeah. Well, this, and that's this, the thing. We've been, like I said, we've been here for four years. No one's ever really come out and received God. I mean, the Bible says many are going to go to Broadway. Few that will go to straight gate. Uh, and and it continues on to say, I think we're at Matthew 7, 21. And the many will come to me in that day and say, Lord, Lord, did we not come? Yeah, yeah. There you go. Did we not? Did we not do your work? And oh, he says, depart from me. I don't me, even I know you. Me. Depart from me, ye workers of iniquity. And they, that's where he doesn't love. That's where because he doesn't love. Because you didn't, and the, you didn't the, love his son. And yes. Mark 16 he doesn't says, love you. Mark 16 says, go in all the world and preach the gospel. And then say they're going to listen. Just tell them. Well, that's, what our and that's what we do. That's what we do. That's what we do. And Paul says, I planted Apollos water, but God give us increase. We could be planting seeds right now, or we could be watering. Someone may get saved. I don't know. But also, Mark 6, I think 6, 4 or 6, the sower went out and sowed the seed. Right. Some of them Satan right. took, some people walked on, some of them thought. It's, some it's a, set, you know, some set. And there's greater thing for the Word of God is a farmer's market. It all began in the garden. Yeah. Man, wow. 
don't love it. You said, you said you're stuck down here. Yeah, I am. I don't Do you know. have a Bible with you? You want a Bible? Yeah, I would. Yep. I, I, I had one. Yep. All right, I'll get I you have one. lost everything I have had. All right, I'll get you a Bible. And you know what? When I left Oklahoma, I did a gun off. I did six, six miles past the app, half the Appalachian Trail. And this is the only thing left when I left out. This is the only thing left of me. Yeah. Of me. Even my glasses have been brought. I've, this is my third set. Uh, three sets of, of shoes. Um, I, I've been, you know. Yep. And, but you know what? In that time. No Christian life is easy. All day that live God in Christ Jesus that's that's suffer exactly persecution. Why I know. And that's a lot of people think, you know, okay, <laughs> I'm a Christian, everything's supposed to be hunky dory. Absolutely. Yeah, uh, until you, you, we, we've had people come up, well, where's the crowds of people? The Bible never said there's crowds of people. No. Jesus had 12 men. And when he went to the cross, only one of them was there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. John was the only one at the cross. Yeah. Peter took off angry, and who knows where the other one, Judas went and hanged himself. I just, I just love the fact you guys are out here doing what you're doing. You know, I don't. Pray with us? Yeah. Lord God the Father, I ask you to help this brother in the Lord. He's been down, he's out, he needs help. And Lord, help that you can provide, Lord. And I don't know what it will be, I don't know when it will be, but Lord, I know you're able. I know you're capable. And Lord, the souls of these people here, Lord, they've heard. Jesus say, They've heard that you're the way, the truth, and the life. And yet, Lord, they reject, they reject, they reject. And Lord, I'm just going to keep preaching the gospel, keep preaching the gospel until you say stop. Amen. Maybe one soul here today, Lord, and we don't have to see it. May they come to Jesus Christ, Lord. May this brother and the Lord get help, the satisfaction, that Lord, only you will get the praise and the exaltation, that something will happen in his life that he can only save God, help him in Jesus. For Jesus' sake, we pray. Jesus' amen. name, amen. Amen. I love you guys. Amen. Hey, look, I'm going to grab my backpack and head on down the road, but I'm going to tell you something. I may not see you again here. We'll see you in glory. Amen. But I, will, but I will see you all there. Amen. Praise love, the Lord. I love you all. Thank you. Thank you very much. God bless you. I don't have any. I wish I had some money. That's okay. No, 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 no. I wish I had some money. I'll be all right. You sure? There's a got, Salvation got Army somewhere down there. I got <laughs> There's a Salvation Army right down the road. I don't, even, the I don't even know. I haven't even got that. Have ask, I haven't got that far. I mean, I know they charge you and stuff like that, but I'm going to give you some. Give you a dollar, a dollar. I haven't got that far yet because I just lost money. I just lost 523 bucks. Went swimming somewhere with my ID and everything oh. else. Oh, no. Yeah. That's all right, guys. I don't, I don't need money. Well, you know no, what? It ain't about the money. You know, it's about the heart. Hey, and you know what God did? know that. He had a prophet lost his eye of a whale one day. You see? Yeah. Take that whale. <laughs> Spit him out. Hey. You never yeah. know. I just got yelled at. The homeless people. I'm not yeah, homeless. I'm like, I look kind of, I look kind of rough. They're bad down here. Yeah. Well, I, I saw a dolphin, uh, and I got, oh, my God, Lord, it's a dolphin, right? They said, I'm trying to sleep. You know what they you know, They yanked at me for waking them up. My bad. I, I saw a dolphin. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah, what and I you meant. have to go to SeaWorld. That's what I have to wait for the dolphins there. So it's free. They're out Yeah, They're, they're out there all the time. Oh, know. man. They're yeah. playful. It's, it's, it's all good. You know, life, yeah. life is good, even when it's rough. So you sometimes know, you like to see the manatees, too. Oh, man. That would be, that would be awesome. Anyway, guys. Carry on. Thank Amen. You. Thank you very much. Rock and roll. Have a good day God now. Bless you, sir. The way, the truth, and the light. And you tell God no. And you expect God to answer your prayer. You expect God to love you when you tell Jesus no? You expect God to fall down and worship you when you say, God, I got a better way than Jesus. There is no better way when Jesus says He is the way. You may be believing in a lie that is not the truth. 
when Jesus says He is the truth. There is no truth but the truth of Jesus. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. The life. There is no life outside of Jesus Christ. John Baptist said, He that has the Son has everlasting life. He that has not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. Now what is your problem? Because I called and ye refused. I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. But ye have set at naught all my counsel. And would none of my reproof. You will not listen to the Bible. Never mind the preacher. You will not listen to the Bible. The Bible says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. When have you believed on the Lord Jesus Christ? I thought so. I thought so. You won't listen. You won't listen. But we're going to preach the same gospel. We're going to bring this same Jesus, Lord willing, each and every week, Lord willing. But you do not know what God has planned for this afternoon, never mind this morning. Do not die without Jesus Christ. Do not go any further without putting your faith and trust in Jesus. And if you think this is funny, if you think it's comedy, if you think it's nonsense, look at your attitude in Proverbs chapter 1. When wisdom crieth out. There are scorners, there are simpletons, and there are markers. Proverbs chapter 1. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved.